I think you already know this, but in this house, we're glow hoes. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. I'm glad you danced by. You gave it the right time. We had an all time high. Bumbles out, joys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. Heather, do you know what a glow ho is? Yeah, it means someone who hoes for glows, baby. That's right, Heather. I love the glow. I love it so much. We're talking about Funko Pops that glow in the dark. Or that glow in the black light. Like Scarlet Witch and Sylvie. Or Khonshu. Or Dead Strange. And we also have a designer toy that glows. It's the Toxic Waste Dumpster Fire. A big shout out to our friend Brian for picking up this dumpster fire at SDCC for us. This thing apparently is awesome. I can't wait to glow it in the dark. But we've received these Funko Pops over the last few weeks and we haven't had a chance to show them off and we figured now's the time. Heather, are you ready to take down the lights? For glow? Oh yeah. It's about to get hot in here. Nelly, is that you? It's getting hot in here. So we're gonna take off all our clothes and see all our glows. Well, Heather, with all this talk about taking off clothes, I was wondering, do you wanna try to find my bone? Ew. Okay, so before we go any further, I just want to talk about how cool these are out of box, especially this con shoe. Yeah, he's so badass looking. He's big. Yeah, he is. I'm, I did not expect this. I'm honestly shocked that Funko didn't try to call this a deluxe and get like 10 more dollars out of us. I know. They easily could have because this thing is amazing. Yeah, and honestly, I feel like he's probably bigger than the stitch on the tricycle. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> that they tried to charge a ridiculous amount for. He's cool looking too. So so this is Dead Strange with all his little demon things coming off of him. He's gonna look really cool glowing in the dark. Then we have these two black light figures which we're gonna show as well and they both look pretty cool. And then we also have this cool looking dumpster fire. I've only seen photos online but I have a feeling he's gonna look really neat out of the box. Oh yeah, he's cool. So I'm not a huge dumpster fire collector, but I like this one because it has like toxic waste and stuff coming out. I actually like dumpster fires a lot and I collect some of them. I'm very selective on what I collect. Oh Those yeah. Those are amazing. Those look really cool under the black light. Yeah, and I love how they chose to do Sylvie's hair yellow. Yes. I'm getting sort of tired of like the yellow faced pops. Yes, me too. I like the yellow utilized in that way. Wow, he's so bright you can't even see him. Wow, look how bright he is. Yeah, he's so bright you can't even see the details in the camera. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he looks cool. Wow. Yeah, he's really, really bright. That's amazing. That is a good looking pop. The white glow in the dark always lasts the longest when it comes to glow. Like the red goes away really fast, it fades, but the white like stays lit for a very long time. Yeah, between white and green, I feel like those are the two like brightest, longest glows. Oh, wow. Whoa. That might be the coolest glow in the dark Funko Pop I've seen in a really long time. So he glows all the way around his back, his front, everything. And it's in, the, in this pale, blue white sort of color and it stands out really well and it glows for a long time like right now as you can see the glow is still sticking around if this were red glow in the dark it would have been gone a long time ago look yeah. at this it's amazing that's amazing right i love glow in the dark i mean as much as i like black light glow in the dark still for me is probably the best that's my number one yeah glow in the dark is amazing that's so cool what i'm really wondering about is our dumpster fire now i wonder how great this glows as well oh wow okay so far so good it looks like all of the green on this glows wow he's cool okay, okay. so the fire glows in the dark really really bright holy it crap it looks like he is actually on fire it really does yeah the glow in it looks fantastic i was really hoping that the toxic waste would also glow in the dark but as you can see it's literally just the fire. If the whole entire thing glowed in the dark, that would have been cool. I wonder, like, under black light, does it Under look... black light, it looks great. Yeah, under black, maybe it, maybe it needs that. Maybe it needs a little black light also. I mean, it definitely 
looks like yeah it has like a black, black light. light reactive yeah it's black light reactive a little bit look at that that's cool so it's both glow in the dark and black light it seems it's sort of the best of both worlds yeah that's awesome so these Funko Pops actually look really great sometimes you'll have a dud that doesn't glow well or doesn't glow under the black light well but all four of these glowed really really well they did I'm really impressed by every single piece here. I think the Kanchu though is my favorite out of all these. Mine too! Yeah, the Kanchu really stands out. I also like that his head sort of looks like bone. You know who likes bones. Your old friend Huck likes bones, Heather, and I think we both know that. I was not trying to summon anyone. I was just making a statement. Even if you took the glow factor or the black light factor away from all of these pops, this is still my favorite. Agreed. It's a really great looking mold. I love this Funko Pop. I think he looks fantastic. This is a box lunch exclusive, so if you want him, that's where you're going to go to get it. I don't know if it's sold out right now or not. The Strange look really good as well. His glow in the dark was awesome. He actually comes from Hot Topic, but I still have to say Kanchu is my favorite over this guy. As a glow ho, are you saying that you would ho mo? Faux Kanshu Glow. Kan show. Kan show glow for show. I would totally ho for Kan show. I would ho for Kan show. Faux show all day and all night, bro. It should have been end mo. End mo, bro. Okay, yeah, okay, we've done enough. Did but I win? You did, a lot. Did I did I do better than you? Yes. Thank goodness. But the Black Light Fungo Pops are really great too. They stand out. The colors are really bright. I love these guys. I love seeing all the Black Light Funko Pops like next to each other and all being like lit up. These two are really great additions to my Black Light collection right now. A standout for this video, this little guy right here. He is awesome. Yeah, on this box, does it say that he glows? Glow in the dark flame, it says, but it makes no mention of the Black Light being a thing. So that must just be like unintentional. They just gave it really bright colors that luckily react with the black light. Yeah. And look, there's a kitty cat with three eyes. Yeah, the art for this box is actually really cool. So there's a cat with three eyes. There's the box there. There's a little dude, look, giving he's in his a little, suit. yeah, he's in a hazmat look, suit, look, giving look his peace signs. Look at the really sad. Yeah, toxic waste barrels. Yeah. And then there's a sign here that says radioactive area. It says, stay away or you're going to look like that dude from RoboCop. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> They're making a RoboCop reference. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little rat on the bottom with a piece of pizza and also a toxic waste barrel. You know, that set. speaks a lot to me. So RoboCop is one of your favorite things. Yeah. And we're also from Baltimore and there's a lot of rats that you see in Baltimore. They yeah. probably steal pizza. This is an awesome figure. It is. It's an awesome figure. And a, a lot of love went into that box. A lot of thought went into that box. If you do not collect designer toys, I highly recommend finding one that speaks to you, whether it's dumpster fire or not. But I feel like they're smaller piece counts and the artists are more willing to put more detail and little like sort of Easter eggs like your Robocop reference yeah. into their packaging and their product. Products. They do a great job, so go and check out. It's 100% soft. Go and check them out um, on the interwebs. They're around. Go and look them up and see all the different pieces they have. But I would like to know what you like out of everything that we've shown here. Did you like the dumpster fire? Did you like the Funko Pops? What was the best glow of the lineup? What was the best black light of the lineup? We want to know what you think about all these and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Craig Matthews, Mac the Ball, Celeste Crawford, Josh Swan, Shane Toner, Nikki Papadop, Bobby Donut, Frank Gast, Toombs, and Kevin Tudenberg. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Head over to mysterygrail.com every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. That way you can pick up your very own Mystery Grail box. It includes a Fungo Pop, candy, and a scratch-off card that can reveal points that you can use on their website. Head over to mysterygrail.com. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.